In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look at the freeze frame clone effect. It goes very quickly, so we're going to give you two examples back to back so you can see how it works. The person catches up with an image of themselves. To do the effect, the first thing you need to do is set a marker, a timeline marker, so that you know where the frame is. I just right click, do timeline marker. I'm going to call this FF for freeze frame. It really doesn't matter what you label it. The next step is to make an image of that frame. So I click on the camera below the preview screen and it will make a copy of that particular frame and make it as a still image. I'm going to give it a name. Let me move the window so you can see and we're going to call it walking and I'll save it in my hard drive. It also copies it into my media room. Now I need to edit it and in this case I'm going to use Photoshop Elements. You can use any other editor that will erase your background. So I need to open the file. I remember where I stored it. We'll move to that location and then we'll pull it into Photoshop Elements. I'll go ahead and use the magic wand tool to select the woman and her luggage. I won't go through the entire selection process nor will I refine it for the sake of the tutorial but I'll pause and then we'll cut her out of the picture. Now that I have her selected, I'm going to click on my mask tool, the fourth one from the left, add a mask that removes my background. My next step is to save this edited image. And so I'll go on the file menu and I'll click save as, and we'll keep the same name, but we'll save it as a PNG file. And now I'll click on save. And click on OK on my options here. And then we'll get out of Photoshop Elements and go back to PowerDirector. Once I'm in PowerDirector, I need to pull the edited image in. And so I'll move to the file location where I find that image. Click on my walking PNG file, and now it's in. Now I drag it down to timeline on track number two. I want to make sure that the image ends at my marker, my timeline marker. And so we'll nudge it up against there, it will snap to it, and then I will lengthen it so for the duration of the clip. Let's play it and see what happens when we do. We'll click on movie mode and play. And she's running and runs into the image of herself where the two blend. Ideally, I'd use a clip where I didn't have people in front of her, but you see the effect. And so that's a simple look at the freeze frame clone effect when you do it in CyberLink PowerDirector using an editor on the freeze frame.